Sky's Dap thing, where he has, like, the skin, you know, it's, like, the hide, like, the spams and trolls and stuff. I mean, let's be honest, in a ninth grade, ninth grade boy's uh, phone, that was definitely just going to be a shit ton of porn. But, of course, they couldn't show that in a kid's movie. Alright, welcome back, everybody, to the Dead Film Critics Society podcast. Today, we have another very special guest. Uh, I just noted to my in my head, the first female on the podcast, you know. We got Ooh. my friend Doris. Breaking new boundaries. Hey. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, Doris. Do you want to say, like, two things about you at all? Uh, yeah. So it took me, like, a month and a few university offers to convince. It took Daniel a few months to convince me to yeah. get the podcast. Because <laughs> I wouldn't do yeah. it until the university. Yeah, I did mention gave- it, like, a couple months ago. And she was like, I need university acceptances first now that she has a yeah, couple of I feel like it's like it's not worth it I feel like I don't deserve it so I need the university to just damn that's nice yeah. we like that commitment to school nice yeah work. for sure um let's yeah. get our trivia over with real quick so we can uh, start right. talking about the movies um so my trivia question for I guess Doris I don't know you're probably not gonna know this but I might as well you might as well listen and try to answer anyways um so we're, we watched a film called Those Who Wish Me Dead, a film directed and written by Taylor Sheridan, uh, who's written some other films. And uh, for which film did he receive a Best Original Screenplay nomination at the Oscars for? I have no idea. Am I allowed to answer? A, yeah, you can answer. Sicario? It's not Sicario. Oh, it's, it's Hell or High Water, Water then. It's Hell or High Water. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's the other yeah. One. Was well um, and I think Hell or High Water's better, yeah. but um, we'll, we'll get into that more later. I don't know. I do like those two movies, though. They're great. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Let's... Oh, well, we normally we do news, but we decided that... Oh, Sir? Oh, of course, Aiden's trying to question, man. I'm really <laughs> trying to jump the gun here. That's yeah, all right, man. All right. You're enthusiastic. I like that. All right, so my trivia question today. All right, so the star of Those Who Wish Me Dead and... Lee, she's you know obviously a well-known actor, but she has known has has been known to dabble into directing. So I want to ask you, Daniel, how many films has she directed? See, I only know one film that she directed. It's uh, Unbroken. Unbroken, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that the only one? I figure she probably did one or two others. So I'm gonna guess like three. Uh, that is incorrect. She has actually directed five. Hmm. Yeah, her first one was A Place in Time, then it was In the Land of Blood and Honey, then after that it was obviously Unbroken, then there was By the Sea with uh, Brad Pitt, and then there was First They Killed My Father. That was most recent okay. one. Okay, yeah, I actually yeah, I heard about that um, yeah. vaguely. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's get into our next portion of the episode. Uh, normally we do news, but we're going to skip over that. We're going to head yep. uh, to a quick trailer reaction. So I wanted Ooh. to give... Um, you guys the chance to pick between wish dragon which is uh an animation film that's coming to netflix soon uh has john cho in the cast i know it's called um it's, it's basically apparently like a chinese version of aladdin of sorts um mm. yeah and then we also have Stillwater, which is like a matt damon thriller kind of movie apparently um Hi. yeah so i don't know which one do you do you want to watch quickly hey it's matt damon i think we should i, I kind of want to see that one that looks inter- sounds interesting oh. yep all right i'm trying to get my little girl out of jail that's all i give a damn about the day you left from marseille i drove to the airport i went to the gift shop and i saw this necklace it was gold. It said still water on it. I thought it'd be a little piece of home to take with you. Some folks are born made to wear the fly. You're in Marseille for vacation? No, yeah, this is my daughter. You're the father of the girl? The, the American student? Yes, ma'am. Allison came here for college, and that's where she met this girl, Lena. One night she found Lena dead and called the police. All 
they cared about was Allison sleeping with some Arab girl. I loved her. I know you did. But everybody thinks that I killed her. We have exhausted every possible legal action. Is the lawyer not helping you? I'm doing it myself for now. I could help. What's your name? Maya. Maya. Oh, that's nice. She's very protective with me. You seen that guy before? No one would talk to you, trust me. I'm not from here. It's not safe for you. She's my little girl. Dad, please. I'm not gonna give up. It will be a serious mistake to commit a crime to prove your daughter innocent. It will not get her out of jail. And it will send you in. Lord, please keep a watchful eye on Allison. Amen. Police. Did you ask her to lie? I'm trying to get my little girl out of jail. That's all I give a damn about. You sound very American right now. Good, I am. Yeah, and you're also a stranger here. What did you do? You just have to trust me. Um, yeah. I guess might as well say if we have any thoughts on the trailer we just witnessed. I mean, that's okay. Uh, I don't think it would be that good. I mean, like, the cinematography looks pretty sick. I do like that. I mean, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be anything really special, to be honest. That's that's just my yeah, first impression. Yeah, I, I can get that. Like, I wasn't expecting anything special, personally. I did think it looks better than like i heard some other people who watched this trailer they said they had a lot more negative things to say about it i think it was better than what they said um mainly because i think some of us thought this might be a more of an oscar contender potentially it being from tom mccarthy who directed spotlight which won best picture but based on the trailer yeah. i don't think they're going for more of a thriller type movie i think it might be still a good movie you know yeah. i think matt damon doesn't it looks pretty solid in it i think uh, the acting looks fine. I, I, the music felt tense, and the situation felt tense, at least in the trailer. So I think they can create some of that in the movie. So I'll I'll be yeah. watching it. Yeah, this this film de- definitely didn't turn me off from watching. I'm gonna watch it probably. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, Dorsey. Any thoughts on that? I feel like it had potential. There was potential in it, but it just I don't know. It it just looks like it looks average. I don't know. I don't know. If it like had it's a big kid film so i i'm not used to those so i i don't know if my opinion is valid but like i don't know it looks like every other action movie trailer i've seen yeah it did i think it did play i i it did feel maybe like i think the trailer was maybe a bit redundant in a way, the, the, the repetition as well, the fact that they repeated things within the trailer is a bit worrying. Oh, yo, you mean like how they did that whole thing? At the, they did like a mini trailer for the trailer at the beginning. A little bit, yeah. That's yeah, they do that now. I don't know why. It doesn't make a lot of sense, to be honest. I mean. Yeah, I don't know if they use those for like, they just do it in one thing and then, but use that like five second version for like you, like those five second YouTube ads or something. But I don't know. I like, think that might be it. I was maybe like apparently people have compared this movie to just like a more dramatic version of Taken, the Liam Neeson action movie. But I think it'll be better yeah. than that for sure. It yeah, did, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It looks interesting enough for me to watch it for sure. Um, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into our tier list. Uh, yeah. So every week we like to, every episode we like to do a tier list. Today, um, I already told Doris this. We're doing a Pixar tier list. Um, yeah, so let me, uh, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just get right into it. Um, we're going to be there... starting to talk about the movies that we watched for the podcast today. Um, let's start with Those Who Wish Me Dead. Um, this is yes. a 2021 film directed and written by Taylor Sheridan based on the book yeah. of the same name. Um, and I believe the writer of the book was one of the screenwriters. Don't remember his name. Uh, it stars Angelina Jolie, John Bernthal, Nicholas Holt. And I cannot remember the kid's name because I looked at it like once. 
Yeah, he's nice. a unknown actor. He just—I think that was his first movie. Actually. I think he had, apparently he had like a couple other things that he's been in, but they were pretty small oh, compared to this. Yeah, but they were uh, small. Okay. I don't remember them at all. Um, yeah, let's—I don't know. Taylor Sheridan is a pretty. I think he's a pretty interesting writer. I think he's a solid writer. He's very yeah. much focused on like these thriller kind of action movies, and um, obviously with him right, and I think. He obviously has, a, like, he's thought out a lot of things in his other movies, like Sicario and Hell or High Water, which I think are very interesting and solid plots. Um, yeah. I think this is interesting enough, but I have a lot of plot issues with this. Like, I have, I wrote, yeah. when I ended up going through the nitpicks in my head, I had, like, way more, honestly, than I have, like, from the Emoji movie. But that's because the Emoji movie is just so dumb that it's like, well, there's no point in nitpicking it because it's just a dumb movie. Yeah. Right? I don't okay. Let me clarify. I don't think this is a worse movie than the Emoji movie. Let me get that out right away. Yeah, um, no, this is easily fair. better. Yeah. Uh, but I think obviously this is a weaker plot by a good margin than something like Hell or High Water and even Sicario, yep. which I don't think even has the strongest plot personally. And yeah. the direction's also not nearly as is not nearly as good as Denis, and also not as good as um, David McKenzie who did Hell or High Water. I yeah. haven't seen Wind River, so this is the only thing I know to go off of Taylor Sheridan's work as a director. Yeah. Um, and, and there's some good things, for sure. But yeah. I think, like I said, I'm going to go through the nitpicks, but I wanted to ask you guys first what you thought of this movie before I go through some of them. Well, Doris, you are the guest. You, are, you should go first. What do you got? For sure. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't the best movie, but it wasn't, as, it wasn't the worst. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, no, I'd have to agree. Yeah. There's not that much to say about this movie. I guess. No. Yeah, I think I don't have anything to say about what it means or how like good I thought it. Like, I don't have anything. I don't have a ton of like legitimate complaints. I do have like, like as a whole, I can. My legitimate complaint is that I think the plot is not nearly as thought out or as well done as. I mean, yeah, plot. I'd have to agree with that. I mean, like, I don't even know what bad guy want at the end of the day like they didn't even define that like it's a I, list of some description if they didn't yeah really that, that's that. yeah that was a big one that you know they don't yeah. even like so the true villains of this movie should be in theory like the people who tyler hired perry. the oh, yeah, tyler <laughs> perry and is yeah. he like supposed to be a politician or something i it, to me no it felt he's like... i i checked the cast he's a gangster that hires them so he right. kind of hires the so two, two guys. it feels yeah. like but i think that what uh, based on what I remember, there's this exposition scene where the dad's like, oh, this is a list of all the things that are wrong with, like, these governors and congressmen. So it, so I guess what happens in theory should, like, it, it barely touches on this, is that the yeah. true evil should be, like, those congressmen and governors who then hired, like, Tyler Perry, at the, the gangster, as he listed in the cast, yeah. apparently, who hired Nicholas Holt and um, I don't remember the other guy. Uh, Aiden um, Gillian. Aiden Gillian yeah. to hunt yeah. down the people who knew about it. And it's like, they don't address that at all. Like, you know, it, they're yeah. really... Like, I felt the film was... the mis One of the mistakes is that they were trying to... Especially at the end, really trying to frame the true villains as being them. Even though it, it should be more both Tyler Perry and... Who, it's only in one scene in this movie. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, like, it's were they trying weird. to set it up for some sort of sequel, or like, what was the point of even I having him in? It was just to have, you know, just like have a villain who's intimidating, I guess. Uh, but, man. I mean, like, for, like one I also have an issue with. I also have an issue with the pacing of this film. I mean, I feel yeah. like. I think that's yeah, maybe man, one could... of the issues I have the least with this film, honestly. I think. I mean, like, to, I'll tell you why I have an issue with the pacing. Because, like, to be honest with you, like, it kind of, like, that first, like, little bit where they're, like, building up to the whole, like, roadblock scene, it goes by kind of slow, and then it just kind of feels like it races to the end a little bit there, you know? Mm. And also, like, everything we see in the trailer has also been in the movie. And I was kind of left disappointed there I, because right. I was thinking that there's maybe going to be more. I Like, I looked at the at the... Not the run man. It's the fucking uh, the length of the film, and I it was only like an hour and forty minutes. I was like, yep. "What the hell? That's so short!" Like, mm -hmm. That's even Wind River is, which isn't that long. It's another good film he did. I mean, like he clearly did a much better job with the time that he was given in that film. Yeah, I, mean, I but, think. Like, yeah. yeah, I would agree. Like, I think the pacing's fine. It's entertaining. It's never like I don't think it gets dragged out. 
I think it's entertaining yeah. throughout. I don't have a big issue with that. I do think... I just think it moves too for, fast. Yeah. I... Uh, yeah. I think it's. Fine. I don't mind a fast-paced story, but I just kind of feel like with I the thought, runtime yeah, they had, I, I, they... I, I can't relate to that. I don't, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I didn't experience that whatsoever. What I do think, I agree with what you said there, is that I don't think they complete that much in this runtime. They, they yeah. don't. I don't. I don't know. There's like. Yeah. I think the best scene, like, there's not. I don't think any scenes like truly great because I always remember finding a problem in each scene. I guess the most yeah. well-done scene is maybe the roadblock scene, because it's, like, kind of smart that the dad sh tried to, like, trick the the hitman into thinking that both he and his son yeah. died by, like, having the car go off and in, into the river. Yeah. Which is, like, smart, you know? It was a nice, sort of a heartfelt moment that he's, like, sacrificing himself, both for I the sake so, of whatever yeah. information he has and yeah. for his son. Um, but also, I the mean, son though, feels but, yeah. very, pretty unaffected as well. Like, yeah. I think the... The emotional depth of this movie is not very much. We have this whole thing with Angelina Jolie, these flashbacks of her and that time, you know. Yeah. Three actually, days. I was going to touch on that, that. Actually, like, barely... why is she a smoke? Why exactly is she a smoke jumper? Because that kind of premise is never really, you know, used I, for the plot. Again, she could have just been a regular forest firefighter, and it would have made any difference at all. Like, why is that detail so necessary? It wasn't necessary. I just think it was something to throw in to show that she's kind of reckless. That's all I thought of it. I I didn't really think it. I, don't, I didn't really get that vibe, from it, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, like, I mean, if you're a smoke jumper, you're not exactly a reckless type of person. I mean, like, you got to be really careful because if that but if you jump, the thing out is, of the plane, she wasn't right. Dead. She wasn't being that careful. She just jumped on a truck with a parachute. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that was kind of just a, that was supposed to be like a scene where she was just like, you know, she has this immense guilt, and that's why she's reckless. Not that she was before because she was a smoke jumper right you know so, so just... she was a smoke jumper before the all the firefighters well that's what those flashbacks were yeah like no like, let's just like smoke jumping type of firefighter right oh okay wait yeah like they I'm fucking sorry. they parachute they like they're, you know skydive they're into the, the forest fire and they put it out on the ground i'll put it out okay yeah 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 i guess that didn't really make saying, a difference i didn't know it didn't that, honestly yeah, that's like it does, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Um, yeah, I think the my favorite character was Allison, um, the the wife of the, the police officer. Oh my god! Yeah, I know, dude. She the was easily. I think she was easily the best character because, um, I mean, they throw her over a table, and she's fine. Like, which is a little concerning. It's like yeah, nothing happens to the kid. Like, like her being pregnant never yeah. affected the film. Or her, like, whatever she did. Which I guess in one way is supposed to show, well, you know, women can be badasses even while pregnant. But at the same time, it feels yeah. a little unrealistic that it feels like it's never taken into consideration. Um, I think she also maybe gets the coolest moment where she uses, like, the hairspray can or whatever that was as a flame thrower. Yeah. Um, that was probably the most memorable part of the movie, easily. And she rides a horse, so she, yeah, she's easily the best character. She gets the most to do, because none of these characters are really that interesting from, like, a writing perspective. It's just based yeah. on what they do, and she easily does the coolest things in this movie. Uh, so I was basically saying that I thought it was, like, really crazy how badass the pregnant lady is, and the fact that she's, like, able to do all this, uh, like I said, while pregnant. Like, she was, she killed a highly trained assassin yeah. while pregnant, and with the, just a deer rifle. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I was just, like, shocked the entire time she was doing all this stuff. I was like, how is that baby not dead? I mean, like, yeah, a little. Yeah, like, not like I, yeah, like I said, like I'm a little, like, like I'm a little concerned how much she's going through, and the kid's just fine. I don't know. Maybe yeah, she's just built different. Fucking I guess. brain damaged. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully the kid's okay, but I guess we'll never know because this on like the the way this movie ends is a bit disappointing as well. Just that. Yeah, because John Berthold just dies. Like yeah, John Berthold just basically. dies off screen. Yeah, that that yeah. and also like. They don't even, like, whatever information was on that piece of paper doesn't apparently matter at the end. It's just about Angelina Jolie and the kid, which I yeah. don't think was that compelling. Because, first of all, like, Angelina Jolie is try like gets the most character, but I don't think she does the most with it either. I think she's fine on, yeah. from an acting standpoint. I think the kid's fine. Uh, there's definitely weaker child actors than him, but he's not great either. Yeah. Um, I love Nicholas Holt. Right, I think he's a great actor. No, he's um, pretty solid. Yeah. But again, the hitman characters, both of them, are pretty flat. Um, and I mean, they lead know. to they create some good action sequences. Yeah, they, I mean, yeah, I think the action sequences say. are pretty well done. But um, yeah. you know, 
The idea that they, they kill everyone who sees them is kind of dumb, because they, like, they, they don't try to be, um, like, sneaky at all. Like, they're not even wearing masks or anything. They're like, oh, we have to kill everyone yeah. who sees our faces. Well, then wear masks. You don't have to kill everyone, because killing people, first of all, is I, I'll, they clearly don't care too much about killing people, as we see from the first scene. You know, they just blow up a house. Again, that's probably one of the other most surprising parts, is that they just blow up a house. Yeah, they just casually walk away, then the house blows yeah. up. I mean, like, I knew yeah. it was going to be, like, I knew they were somewhat the villains, and I knew it was a scam, but I, I didn't know, I thought they were just going to, like, rip them off or something. I didn't know they were just going to blow up the whole fucking house, but I guess yeah. they, they did that. Um, And then, yeah, there's a, so I'm going to go through some of my nitpicks. Like, the, one of the Hitman characters is standing in the middle of the road, which is kind of dumb. Like, why didn't he just stay where Nick was to stay off the road and shoot him? Like, they could have just stopped the car by, with, like, their guns instead of, like, you know, being able to get hit by the car. Um, the N- Nick, like, the Nick Nick's Holtz characters has his, like, his light, gun light on while the fire's clearly lighting everything up. But then he turns it off. So, which is kind of stupid. It's like, either he needs it or doesn't need it. Felt that was, and again, these are Nick picks. Yeah. These are kind of dumb. I think Nick suffers too much, like, he gets stabbed, like, it's not, like, obviously he killed people, and he kind of, like, you know, I mean, American justice says he just, well, depending, I don't know, do they have death penalty in state of Montana, it doesn't matter, um, they they might, Uh, I don't know, um, but, like, I feel like he suffered too much, because, like, the, like, I feel like the true evil should be whoever's paying them to do this, right? Yeah, but they just let this but, guy but they just to let death. yeah like they st- like yeah oh Angelina Lord. Jolie sn- stabs Nick twice and then says no nah, just let him suffer in the fire, you know after you know she has pretty good knowledge of how much it hurts to see something like you know for someone to die in a fire, and even though this guy's clearly not a good person it's like, to from Angelina Jolie's perspective she's he's barely he hasn't done too much right he she doesn't know about the fact that he blew up a house and that he well he yeah. knows he sort of knows that you know, that he killed was part of the killing of, uh, the kid's father. But like, that's barely like made clear anyways. Right. Like yeah. I said, you know, and the politicians don't even get exposed. They don't even like create some stupid, like they could have just done different names as well. I don't know if that's supposed to be like, a. I don't, I like, I, again, the, the way they end this movie is dumb. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very anticlimactic um, to be honest. I mean, yeah, like the movie starts off with a bang with that house blowing up. And I was like, fuck, I'm ready to go. This looks interesting. And then it just kind of, you know, ends on not Yeah, a very like, I think it end. only has a couple of moments that match that, and one of those is, like, right in the beginning of the film. The other one's, like, just as the third act is starting. Like, the third act itself, like, the fight, like, the, I think that, again, I think the action scene's, fun, like, directed well enough. Well, also, yeah. what I noticed was kind of stupid is how close Nick was trying to shoot Angelina, like, Angelina Jol- Jolie's hiding behind a tree, but instead of just, like, walking around it from a distance, he approaches the tree so that she can hit him with the pickaxe instead of just, like, you know, staying away from her because all she has is a pickaxe. Yeah. Like, again, yeah. that's what, like, I wrote down, they, they seemed kind of not smart in that way. And like I said, I think the direction's fine. I like the look of the fire scenes. Some of the nature I mean... shots, though, look kind of... Fa- I think it was, like, I didn't think it was good. I don't think it was great. No, like, they were... I think it was filmed in Montana. I mean, I'd have to actually go opposite with you there. I didn't like the fire at all. I thought it looked really fake, to be honest with you. I thought I mean... it was fine. I mean, I don't think I've seen... Like, I think it was fine. I think... I don't know if... Maybe authentic- authenticity wasn't what I was thinking of. It was more that it, like, on screen it looked fine. I mean, like, like I think from was, a distance the fire looks like, nice. But yeah, like, like I think it, when you get up close, like when they were actually like fighting near the fire, I thought it looked really fake to be honest. The fire the itself fire. didn't look the best, I will say. I think the lighting yeah. from the fire was good. Um yeah. like I said, I think the direction's fine overall. Like the you know, yeah. you understand what's going on in these action scenes. Yeah. I real the lightning field scene is dumb because it's like they're running like they're really it's like they're really scared of getting hit by lightning. And then she sort of gets hit. But then they just sit in the middle of the field, like, oh, now this isn't dangerous anymore. Like, did you not, like... And also, lightning... Like, why is that the most dangerous place to get hit by lightning other than there's no cover of trees? Because, like, shouldn't you be fine, mostly fine, because the lightning should be going to the, uh, like, higher heights, because that's most of the time how lightning works. Yeah, it's yeah. not something yeah. really accurate. Yeah, so... Yeah, like, why, I, I understand why the field was the most, like, it feels like it was the most tense scene as from a lightning perspective. That was kind of dumb. Um, yeah. She never, like, 
why did they start the fire again? I I, th I kind of zoned out. It was to serve as a distraction so they could get away with killing the kid. So it was just to like cause something that other people would have to deal with. I get so like the other Thor like the I don't know who like whoever was there would have to deal with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, I guess. Mm. I, I didn't even remember why they did that, and for the whole time I was thinking, why did they do that? I guess that makes enough sense. It was still kind of dumb. Uh, the end, yeah. like, the fact is, like, Angelina Jolie's character doesn't even see the fire from the fire tower either. Like, yeah. when it starts, so then they have to do that whole hike, realize the fire's blocking them off from the town, and then go back. If she just looked out the window, like, if she used the watchtower as a watchtower... Like, half the plot yeah. is cut out of this movie for, from Angelina yeah. Jolie's perspective, which is, like, again, it's kind of dumb. Um, it's also kind of a coincidence how the tower just doesn't burn down. I guess it's made of metal, so it was easier to, like, you know, not get fully burnt up. And yeah. I guess they're made to withstand fires, because, you know, they're maybe expecting them at one point. Yeah. Um, that last scene where they're just hiding under the water, I mean, it makes sense to hide under the water, but she says that he fell asleep. So, like, did he, like, stay above the water while, like, he was asleep? Or, like, did he, or did he fall, like, did they stay, or did they keep doing that the entire time the fire was burning? Like, he kept going up and down, so, like, stayed underwater, take a breath, go back down, like, the whole time while the fire was burning. Because, you know, these forest fires, I'm assuming it would have to be a long time. It, it, it like, you know. corner it just felt like did i cut out yes you yeah. did okay yeah I figured. Uh. um what i was saying is that every time they kind of like write characters into a corner where they like they should at least be somewhat harmed except for the dad character because you know fuck him they just all of a sudden they've just become kind of invincible uh like, yeah you know and i and also john burnthal's character is boring and he's kind of useless as well like so both of those yeah guys. like he doesn't know he, he just gets kidnapped and then gets shot in the tower. Um, and then he dies a slow in death, the, in the, yeah. like, eight hours yeah. later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I, I had a lot of nitpicks. I think, the, and again, I think the father was kind of the smartest character with that moment in the car, allowing him to get his son away, even though it's not like... It was, th it was more thought out than I think a lot of other scenes in this movie was, yeah. just this movie in general. Yeah. yeah also that's fair. it was really weird how that one scene with like the other sheriff like when he's eating his steak how like his secretary or something says i, I got a call from your wife do you want to take him he's like no like why would you why did you include that felt like a dumb know, thing man. to include anyway I mean, like I, it does make him does not make a lot of sense because that other character is not around for very long he yeah just... and he just dies as well oh, he's another character so they not fuck him he just gets shot immediately you know? yeah um anyways yeah not a terrible film but certainly i don't think it's really good somewhere in the middle yeah um how about a score yeah what do you guys so got? for we always do scores out of 10 uh doris so i don't know i'll i'll give mine mine was like a five out of ten it's closer to a four though uh yeah it's fine i guess what would you give it doris um 4.36. We're being precise. <laughs> Jesus Why? Christ. Oh my goodness. I, I, I can't let freaking engineering and science students on this podcast anymore. Like, Chinooth so said... What did Chinooth, Chinooth gave it like a 7.9 for Coraline. Because yeah. he thinks... Yeah. He, yeah. He just, he's just, yeah. <laughs> just use whole numbers. Damn. Yeah. Um, you use whole numbers or half numbers. I mean, yeah. That's fine. I don't like half numbers anymore, but... I'm fine with oh that, but anyways, right. Aiden, what's your I mean, score? I'd give it like a five and a half. It's definitely all right, but it's it's. I wouldn't watch it again, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not gonna like, watch it again, unless I'm gonna have sure. like Netflix I, and chill. Yeah, I'm also you know? definitely so, a little discouraged yeah. of watching Wind River. Um, I Dude, okay, eventually. look, I promise you, you will like Wind River much better than this film, right? Because yeah, like, I know I'll like it more, actually, but I don't know how much yeah. more. But we'll see. I'll, I'll watch it's it. It's definitely a better story as well, and I think they yeah. like. It's kind of. It's not like a super like um, long film either, but I think there's a lot more happening in the short right. time frame. Yeah, like, and there's think, actually a satisfying again, resolution as well. So yeah, yeah. It, this yeah. movie didn't have a satisfying resolution, but I think 
enough stuff is happening. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to Doris's recommendation for the yes. podcast. Why would you make us do this? A beautiful film called The Emoji Movie from 2017, directed by some guy. Um, I don't know. I, I literally don't remember. And starring sexual predator T.J. Miller. Let's not forget about that, guys. All right. Oh, well, that's well. I didn't know T.J. Miller was a shit actor and a shit person, but now I know. Yep. Um, <laughs> James yeah. Corden. Uh, also a shit yeah. character uh, actor, <laughs> maybe a person. Christ. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, we we don't know what these celebrities are hiding, especially ones who can't act for shit. They must be doing something <laughs> to get themselves in the business. Um, anyways, let's talk about. Um, let's ask Doris why she recommended this movie. Because uh, we always do that with our guests. Why? Why she did you recommend to make us this? Suffer. <laughs> <laughs> for shits and giggles. Of course it was. Right. Jesus. Of course. Um, yeah. I th- Honestly, I ended up having, like, I had a lot more nitpicks with Those Who Wish Me Dead. Because the Emoji movie, like, I didn't think about the plot at all. Because it wasn't, uh, it was sort of plot driven. But, uh, I don't know. What what drives this film? Product I, placement. Pro- yeah, you're correct. Um, that is what drove it. You, you are, uh, that, that was exactly what I should have been looking for thinking in my head this is uh just a film driven by product placement um i will say i don't think it's the worst thing ever as in it's entertaining enough to not like kill me um but there yeah this is i mean at least the animation looks nice that's the only thing it looks fine i don't think it looks good but it's fine um no it's definitely not like amazing animation but yeah you know it's clear someone actually worked hard on that aspect which is maybe one of the more saddest things actual human beings worked on this movie which is yeah, like, you know, appalling. imagine being an animator for this film and just watching what you had to animate. Imagine like working the... for, I mean, I guess people working for Illumination must be rich. Even the, well, I don't know how much <laughs> the animators are paid. They should probably get yeah. a raise. Um, anyways, yeah. it's very bizarre that this is the same company that made the social network and the same studio that made Spider-Verse. Uh, thinking about it that way uh, is quite appalling. Yeah. Um, the first thing Why I have Why is this written... movie even like an oh. idea though like i don't understand it's it, sir. like i can like honestly it's first of all it's a really stupid idea but i think in at least the first 50 minutes they sort of explore the a little bit of just the tiniest bit of creativity within it and have yeah. like jokes they're not good jokes but they're jokes right unlike yeah. um, the rest of this film like i think the first 15 I mean, minutes is the yeah. like rel- it's like true. it's kind of like up relative as in Obviously, it's nowhere near as good as Up, but like the yeah. the first fifteen minutes make you think that it might be decent. Then the yeah, rest maybe of it is fast, just people say. Yeah. yeah, but then the rest of it is really quite terrible. Um, yeah, yeah. The yeah. first thing I had written is that like disguised app thing where he has like the skin. You know, it's like the hide, like the spams and trolls and stuff. I mean, let's be honest. In a ninth grade, ninth grade boy's uh, phone, that was definitely just going to be a shit ton of porn. <laughs> but of course, they couldn't show that in a kids' movie. But, yeah. um, you know, <laughs> they just said, oh, no, let's throw some trolls in here and some spam. It's like, nah, that would be yeah. boring, bro. Uh, but obviously you can't yeah. show that. Um, yeah. Again, the first 15 minutes have jokes, and then they devolve into that stupid miscommunication thing about, oh, he's different. And, uh, you know, so he has, to, he has to go away. He has to run away from the robots. And then high fives or Corden has to get dragged along because he's like, oh, they're coming after me because I'm sneaking into the, the club or whatever that was. And so then they set off on the adventure. Um, yeah. It's like one of the worst. Like, if this. I, I can imagine one of the writers having an idea for this film. And one of them is maybe this is like a. <laughs> This is going to sound stupid, like an autism metaphor in that um, Gene is like, d- like he's different, right? And so he doesn't want to be part, like they don't want him to be. I, I It's a potentially thing that they, may, like the writers might have thought, right? Because it's clearly a movie that made it past some kind of board. And they clearly had to say more than it's a movie about a different emoji who goes to Candy Crush. It had to be just a bit more than that. And I feel they could have said something like, or at least like a different kid, right? This is supposed to relate to, yeah. oh, you know, your kid's different. Like, you know, for the kids out there who feel different, um, you know, embrace your differences, right? Very simple. Yeah. But again, this is told Shit. like, you know, obviously, 
Shit. Yeah, it's told in Shit. maybe one of the worst. Uh, like, it's a fine. It's an okay message, but it's told in one of the worst ways I've ever seen possible. Right. Um, also, can we can we get an F in the chat for Sir Patrick Stewart for agreeing uh, yeah. to be in this film? I could I'm not. Sorry. Fully. Also, oh, Maya my Rudolph's in this film. She was in Mitchell's with the Machines. She um, was actually good in that, though. Yeah, and she was good in that. She weird. was her character. Yeah. Like, she clearly was trying something. Like, the characters. Uh, like the idea that you know she has to be evil while always smiling is like it's a t the tiniest bit interesting. That's um, not a bad idea actually, yeah. but I mean, but, executed yeah. shit. So yeah, there's the part where they say the internet troll will only stop when they find a job or a girlfriend, um, which is yeah. not. First of all, they say he, which is not only sexist and homophobic Damn. potentially, yeah, I forgot but about also that. <laughs> um, if the actual internet trolls either start posting memes or they kill themselves, let's be honest. But again, they couldn't have gone into... If this was an adult comedy, I think this would have been a better film for... One, the porn I think thing. so, actually. Two, yeah. the, uh... It'd be something the, probably along the lines of Sasha's, part, yeah, Sasha's yeah. Party, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it would honestly, it probably would have been better than Sausage Party, in my opinion, with this idea. This idea was better than Sausage Party. But I guess Sausage mm. Party wasn't as cringe or as bad and it didn't have as much product placement. Again, you know, the brands, Dropbox, Snapchat, Candy Crush, Just Dance, the peak of brands, you know? Peak, you know, it's great... Very explicit, yeah. like I said, the explicit mind. Oh, the, the thing about like um, well, I don't remember her name. Like the hacker girl, you know, being like jailbreak. I, yeah, jailbreak. Being like, uh, I can do it by myself. I'm independent. You know, those minor <laughs> themes of like, you know, women can do whatever. It's you know, just, it do beats you over the head with a message that yeah, is exactly. not it's subtle very at all. Clear, and obviously, and that's not, not a bad message, but still, like, yeah, you know, it's not there's a subtle, way to do and it. it's barely explored. So yeah. it's quite maybe one of the worst uses of that. Again, yeah. it has that. Again, like I said, the swearing could be funny if this was an adult comedy. They wouldn't cast as stupid of people. Like I, um, they, I also thought of the idea that the wife or husband could cheat with another emoji, and that's how they create Gene. That's that's what I thought if they you know. <laughs> Yeah, no. I thought this <laughs> came into my mind. I was like, no, nah, I had to mention this. And, I mean, look, again, your mind definitely or, goes strange places other, when you watch the Emoji movie. Exactly, so yeah. Um, yeah. The other yeah. one, he could have, like, an STD, and that's how they make Gene. I don't know. Um, um, pause. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> don't ask me. This is, this is my... Look, I can't explain it. These just thoughts come to my head, and I write them down. Um, yeah. Again, they also could have had in the Spotify room just, like, blaring music with, like, I don't know, Kanye West or some shit or some, like, what, I don't know, whatever a ninth grade white boy would listen to, which would probably... Yeah, definitely Kanye West. Black rappers. I think also a lot of, like, in rappers in Choppa general. are just terrible yeah, rap, exactly honestly. Those people. Except for Kanye, I mean, like, yeah. 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 Um, there's that one it's shot where High there. Five has an ass... Do you I do you guys remember this? Yeah, why? Yes, why did they include that me. in his like fucking character I design? Um, I mean, dude, in Secret Life of Pets, they included cat buttholes. So I mean, like it's weird stuff like that has happened before. Yeah, but yeah. like at least you know, it reminds yeah. me kind of a Space Jam when like you know they had that Warner Brothers thing in his butt. But at least they didn't show an actual butt that said it had Warner Brothers logo like spray painted sort of on it. That would have been much worse. Yeah. Um. Again, they don't explore anything about in this world. Like, the same thing with logic of cars. Like, how did these guys biology um, at all? It, it's never, like, you know, there's no world built. There's a little bit, but there's, like, barely any world building. It's kind of stupid. Yeah. It's really stupid, of course. Um, the Just Dance Girl, I hate to say this, it reminded me of Anna de Armas's, like, giant, like, her, like, her pro, like, the, she's technically a product in that movie, where she, yeah. the giant version, uh, you know, hologram of her. Sort of remind yeah. me of that. Um, That's kind of a good point, actually. I didn't even know there was a Just Dance app. Honestly. Yeah, I didn't know either. I'm pretty sure that's they literally made it for this movie. I wouldn't uh, no. like they were gonna, they? as in like they made no. it before, like they made it around the same time. Oh, there's not. And then like Doris, what were you saying? Sorry. Are you yeah, sure? that's that's how it works. Cause I I've downloaded it before, and I think it's like you use it as a remote to connect to your your Wii. Like you can't what just the fuck? It with your Wii. Well, why do they even do they i know they just dance was like one of the last games in the wii but like okay yeah, but like i mean why not like your xbox is then at least you can play it on there if you have kids. yeah, yeah but like, or like, or like you use it as a remote to connect to whatever 
like gaming Defi system. Like, really? Like it, that's it wouldn't randomly. So it wouldn't off. work in the like it's no, not like it wouldn't work. yeah. A lot of, like, like the idea yeah. that these emojis can use the apps is so stupid because like why don't they do that all the time like surely another emoji would just want to go watch fucking youtube videos all day so then his phone would just go crazy like a long time ago right it wouldn't because of yeah. Gene having to run away because like one fucking somebody wants to watch pewdiepie or some shit yeah you know i mean like and that yeah, that, definitely... that plot line yeah. which is some is plot right there's not a lot of plot yeah that is part of the plot that he's like about to you know that just dance chick was christina aguilera right i don't know why the hell she agreed to be in this movie she can do so i mean better, if yeah. patrick stewart's in this movie fucking anyone i mean yeah that is true like so many famous movie. people just agreed to be in this just for the money James and then like a... yeah <laughs> Have you seen James Corden try to explain, he's, like, how nuanced this film is he's in worse the than, interview? It is so funny. I mean, honestly. yeah. I could explain- uh, I could try to explain how nuanced this film is, but obviously it doesn't deliver that whatsoever. And it's really stupid mm -hmm. how it goes about it, right? Even if there was messaging, uh, it was very stupid how they completed Also, that. Taken the girl likes the fucking kid because of the way he uses emojis by the end yeah, of the Yeah, that was just, so- just remember fuck, that? that was so stupid. Like that, that sorry, was, that's not uh, that's not how dating yeah. in the teenage world works. People yeah, don't exactly. give a shit you, about that, you, man. You, oh, you so. just you know, you're both you know, you and your friend and the girl and the friend are at a like at, at the Apple store. You're getting your phone fixed, and then you're like, okay, wait, maybe if I just send yeah. this emoji that's like changing, I can express all of my emotion in an emote because that's how the world works. You know, you you send <sighs> you know you send an emoji. You know, like emojis are obviously part of like texting. In like a yeah. sexual relationship, most a lot, but like not like <laughs> yeah, that. That's true. Not like <laughs> that. It's like exactly. And also the fact. Oh yeah, they put the fucking uh, eggplant in the non-you section, and that's bullshit. Because it yeah, would definitely bullshit, be in man. the favorites. That, Dude, ninth graders it, love that stuff. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. They would like even if they're not doing it seriously, they would do it as a joke. Oh, uh, eggplant. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because like, they're friends, immature like, as fuck. Or something. Um. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got James Wan vibes from how those circle shots when he's dancing. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's like that's. I mean, it, credit oh James God. Wan. He makes me think of him when people do those circle shots because he's you know defined them pretty well in his movies. Uh, yeah. They quote Casablanca in this fucking movie. Like the like Gene's parents say, "We'll always have Paris" or something like that. I'm just like, are you fucking... Are you kidding me? Like, that's Why? actually really dumb, dude. Like, what kid watching that is gonna understand it's, that? I, I mean, got, like, it was for the adult. It was for us. It was, I know, for, it was for the, the adults, but the still, movie. like, why would you make a reference that old and obscure? Because I mean, like, you think you're a decent movie? I don't know. Um, yeah. There's one Zoom in the, the whole movie, which is just stupid. Like, why would you include just one Zoom? from a filmmaker like again like the animation for the most part's fine it's probably the best part of this film by far um but they else but they just do a zoom because why not uh yeah. this this the villain's completely not intimidating like they don't like in the t robots as well they're not threatening like they start to dance disco like how can you take them seriously like at all even the, like the kids aren't even going to be one like i can't imagine the kids even being frightened of them that much because they're just robots they yeah. look a little scary but other than that they just like yeah the villain i mean like doesn't do anything robots scary. Like, in, like like mitchell's versus the machine if the villain the had like tossed silly. out another emoji to show that like yeah. she means business i might have taken her a little seriously but she doesn't even get that all the flashbacks look horrendous those oh my goodness i could that actually hurt my eyes. That looked truly terrible. Um, and at the end, it's really funny how um, communism is basically the answer. You know, let everyone into the club. Everyone's now equal. So that's what I got out of the movie. Communism is always the answer, especially when it comes to stuff in your phone. Um, I mean, dude, on paper it works, but I mean, you know, in execution. Does this movie really work on paper, though? <laughs> You yeah. know what? That is true. No, it, it does not. It, it look. I mean. It works for maybe a three out of ten movie. Like, you know, <sighs> Minions movies have more plot than this movie. Let's be honest. That is actually true. Um, yeah. Even Honestly, Minions, I, and like, Minions, min and and pe and people like Minions. People don't like emojis and T J Miller. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know. Is it just me or did anyone else like get the vibe that this was trying to like be like the next Lego movie? 
Uh, a little bit. Do you understand what I mean? A little bit with like how yeah, it's just because like, it's like different. obviously it's he's not like a toy like, or anything. Yeah, but yeah, but it's like kind of along that similar vibe, you know? There's like there's like kind of just like this guy who's like different. There's the from villain the rest, who doesn't least... want think like a different person. There's a different. Yeah, person. exactly. Um, yeah, like Maya Rudolph's character was basically there's was a like a female they person they company business. and they kind of you know they 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 form a bond. Yeah, it's a yeah. I maybe they copy pasted the the plot from the Lego Movie and then just forgot everything that made the Lego Movie good and then they slapped yeah. emojis on it and uh, yes. put in Patrick Stewart as a piece of shit um yes. yeah he always makes he was making so many poop jokes in that movie like yes. what the hell why he yeah it's quite embarrassing <sighs> unfortunately dude like um, why i mean like i i get that you know every day once in a while a man just wants a paycheck but why would he agree to this do this is the wrong paycheck um yeah um, yeah doris do you have anything else to say about this film because i i think we're ready to wrap this yeah, up just... yeah i'm ready to wrap it up technical issues with this movie okay first of all when they're shutting off the phone you see like yes home screen and it's slowly shrinking first of all that's not how it works yeah exactly it's... yeah i do remember that like they say like oh no the phone slowly just slowly <laughs> starts deleting all the apps and said no normally no, it would just, just be like that like... it would just be instant pretty much also but... even if it was like that when you go from, like the outside in the texting app was like in the bottom like center corner it wouldn't go like this <laughs> it would like that like i don't know no, I, texting I don't... is the most essential app it's a default app so there that no i'm the director i am playing devil's advocate the director would say that is that yeah, exactly the messaging app is like one of the you know it comes with the phone you can't really delete it so everything else that's deletable will go first and then you know the messaging yeah. will be last that uh, yeah again it's, it's still pretty stupid um i don't notice but like the there was a scene where they went into the wechat app which doesn't make any sense because wechat no one no no non-chinese person uses wechat from what i know this guy's so white why would some white boy have wechat because okay man. well well they're also trying to appeal to chinese audiences right because that's a lot of things the movies have been doing these days uh, you no. know no. I mean, like, if you want to look what at other examples... What about this movie appeals to China other than WeChat? Well, look, well, if you want to use that, that's just one thing, right? But I think there's other examples this in other films, like... This isn't fucking Mulan. <laughs> okay, I know, but the, well, there's that, right? But there's also no, Transformers... Fuck. There's Age not a single... I don't think there's a single act. even Asian voice cast who, like, does one voice. I, I would Okay, well, there's always something, man. I'm just saying. I mean, like, yeah, you know, I guess. it's a huge media market. You might do some, might as well yeah, do something like, that sure. they might I mean, recognize, they, right? Like, marketing brands that China has some investment with. But, I mean, yeah. just, but also America. Like, I don't think it's any different. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyways, the smile. Also, the sm did, there's an after credit scene where the smile has braces. Why would she need uh, braces? Shouldn't she need, like, life-saving surgery since a robot fell on top of her? Like, that's not how braces... I'm pretty sure that's not how braces work. Even if, like, you break no, your teeth, not. that's not how... Yeah. Again, this just shows this movie clearly had very little thought about it, or the people who no. thought about it twisted themselves into a pretzel to create something truly abysmal. Despicable. Um, yeah. yeah. 15 In different that movie it's like oh yes oh yes guy likes girl uh emoji be yourself feminism they choose a plot yeah yeah they didn't yeah they didn't choose a plot you know it was a comedy because of all the the poop jokes um we got the the lego like you know the yeah. lego movie vibes of you're different uh you're not different anymore we got the um of course uh you should buy uh the you get should get the just dance app and cranny crush um that's a that's a moral um you should James Corden, that's a, a plot in of itself. That's a part of a plot. Um, you should get Spotify. You should yep. text the girl you like an emoji that has multiple signs to show that, you know, when you want to communicate something, you don't just say, I'm happy about this situation or I'm shy or, you know, um, yes, you, um, um, you can hack. You can get a disguised app as a dictionary um that's a good thing to do you know you can put some put some porn on it and then um um yeah communism of course and then at the end the communism the thing i got the most out of the film is that you shouldn't exclude people everyone should be equal um everyone should be allowed yeah. in the club and they should play i just want to feel this moment in the club in the yeah because kids go to clubs. Yep. 
this movie was made. Okay, Daniel, we, we, Daniel, we get the point. I understand yeah. you're frustrated, but <laughs> no, I'm just I, like, no, yeah. Let's I, just I'm, let's I, just score this, man. Yes, I, get I, it. I was running yeah. out of things to say. I was I was just trying to wrap it's it okay. up with something more conclusive than just the club and con- yeah. communism. All right. Um, yes. as, speaking of communism, I'm not giving this a communist score like I did the other one, as in an equal score, like a five out of ten. I'm giving this a, uh, a one out of ten. Um, but there are worse Ooh. things. It's not the worst, yep. but it is quite, quite bad. I think the California Christmas is worse, easily. That is the worst thing I've ever seen, honestly. But uh, uh, the happening right, is we'll... very close for me, by the way. Uh, yeah. Oh, I still talking. need to see that. But it's uh... horrible, terrible. What? No. That wasn't even right. the most. That wasn't even the most <laughs> terrible thing. But uh, yeah, I've heard I... some of the lines in that film. But yeah. anyways, we're getting off topic. Anyways, uh, Doris, yeah. what was your score? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Zero point. Seven. Oh, for fuck's sake! Five. Doris gives it a one. Okay, Aiden, what did you give it? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to give it a one as well, my guy. All right. You know, I mean, like one. it's not a point five just because California Christmas is that bunch worse than it, but I mean, yeah, you know, it's still this a shit piece of shit. I guess, film. yeah. I mean, I don't. I reserve the zero slash zero point five for the happening movies for... that clearly have no care taken into them. I mean. Movies that were made that, yeah, probably had, like, one thought put into them. This has several thoughts, but, of, of course, that, like, makes it a complete jambled mess, right? But, yeah. you know, there are worse movies. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyways, as, you know, Doris, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Yes, thank you very and, much. Uh, sorry about the tech issues we had, but, I mean, it fits that both of you guys ended up being on your phones, so at least we have some more consistency yeah in uh the look um anyways yeah thank thanks so much for coming on and you know based on you, you know i think <clears throat> not to roast my other get my, my other friends who i brought onto the podcast but yeah i think you might have had some of the most interesting things to say they're about the same you know you, you did pretty good um yeah that's you know, uh 100 emoji for sure yeah, yeah, i agree with that <laughs> yeah um yeah thank, thank you so much for coming as always yeah. um we'll have you on again sometime you know if you want if you, if you... when i'm in university where my parents can't see yeah of course yeah from the dorm room in wherever unknown university we'll see um uh before we wrap up completely uh we always do some film recommendations or just tv re- media recommendations i'll just call it right now yeah because uh, i do have a tv yeah. one um Ooh. that we recommend each other just to see you know some cool stuff that we think each other should check out um my first one is uh i'll, I'll say i mean i've already told aiden i love this film scott pilgrim versus the world i rewatched it uh truly uh, yes a gem okay i mean i will admit aiden has I don't like the ending he doesn't like the ending but if you'd like in just like I beg of you, just ignore. I do just love the film the as a whole. Don't yeah, get exactly. me wrong. Yeah. I just wouldn't. Just, I just wish the ending was different. You yeah, know? I mean, like, like, they I shot the different again, ending, but they. I don't did. think it's the best end. Like, I don't. I don't even think the alternate would be that much better. The ending itself is just somewhat weak, and there's a couple. Other, there's like one other moment that I think was unnecessary, but everything else in this movie is just pure creativity, genius, in my opinion, especially from a comedy's perspective. It's just like the transitions, the the jokes. The acting, yeah. the the visual effects, the sa- the sound is some of the best <laughs> use of sound for comedies ever. Um, I love that is it. for sure. One of my favorite yeah. movies ever, honestly. Yeah. Uh, my other one is Annihilation. I watched very interesting movie. Oh, yeah. Have you seen it yet, Aiden? Uh, no, I have not. I think we talked about this the last episode as well, if I'm not mistaken. May- uh, maybe I don't know. Or did I mention Annihilation last week? I, I, I believe mean, you have. Actually, maybe yeah. I did. And I only wa- I watched it this past week. I might have. Anyways, it was good. Um, the last 35 yeah. minutes are very interesting. It's a very interesting movie as a whole. I'm looking forward to rewatching it because I think I might yeah. get a lot. There are some stupid plot issues and things that don't really work. Um, the film isn't technically completely sound, but it's good in some aspects. But it's, it's yeah. solid. And I've also been watching The Underground Railroad, directed by Barry Jenkins, TV series on Amazon Prime. Ooh. Um, I love his work with James Laxton. Um you know I love if Beale Street could talk, and this kind of has the same style of cinematography as if Beale Street could talk. So, and that was maybe my favorite part about that film. So obviously I love how this series looks, and the music is also yeah. by Nicholas Bertel, who I think is easily one of the best composers in the business right now. Um, yeah. You should watch it. 
All right, we'll do. Um, Make sure I check that out. Uh, yeah, Doris, just... do you have, have you seen anything? Uh, I mean, I've been watching South Park. I love South Park so much. I know it's oh, not the nice. like, dirtiest show to exist, but I love that show so much. Yeah. Have you seen the they... movie? Like Bigger, Longer, no. Uncut? No, Ooh. not yet. But they came out with a pandemic episode with like oh, yeah? Trump, QAnon, that. Like, I haven't <laughs> seen it yet because I haven't. I'm on like 10 out of 24. So okay. I gotta catch it. But uh, yeah, I, it's supposed to be really good. And I've seen like trailers of it. Honestly, yeah. like, I, I, I don't care what anyone says. It's a good show. And like, yeah. It, it, it's been running since 1998, Seven. so if it was if it was really yeah. that bad. I mean, I've never heard anyone say it's bad, but I'm also I mean, yeah. I never really heard anyone. say It's, it's just been controversial. Unironically, you know? say it's the peak of television, but you know, I can <laughs> yeah. imagine it's a show that will be enjoyable. I'll probably watch some of it eventually. Um, yeah. Aiden, do you have any? Yeah. Or I mean, do, I'll. Doris, do you have any other things you would recommend real quick? Uh, <laughs> if you like trashy reality TV, but uh, <laughs> Toddlers and Tears is too much for you, Dance Moms. <laughs> oh my god, Dance Moms. That's a... <laughs> yeah. It's a cursed show, but it is kind of funny, to be honest. So, yeah, I've been, I've been, yeah. I mean, I've been slowly trying, to, Doris, to break the addiction to watching these kinds of shows and watching maybe something a little more serious, but, you know... <laughs> I'm slowly working it, but, you know, I, I can appreciate the enjoyment you can get out of those types of shows. I mean, I'd say that a little bit of the same for you, Aiden, especially with all your rewatching of Watchmen and shit. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if it's the first movie that I remember you remember you have rewatched instead of watching yeah. Um What we're probably going to talk about next week, but anyways, um, yes. before, do you have any quick recommendations? I have one. And uh, it's the it's the new Michael B. Jordan film. It was without remorse. Without it was remorse. okay. It was okay. Yeah, honestly, the whole film was just like, don't get me. It had some impressive action sequences, mm-hmm. but other than that, it was like, just so aggressively average, man. I mean, like it was just really boring, and like it kind of. And then by the end, they just jump into setting up a Rainbow Six movie or series. So I mean, right. hmm. that could be cool. I'm actually, I'm I, that guy, I would want to see that, but still, I mean, I'm it surprised just, it that you want to see more. that despite the first film that they're like trying to use to i mean look it. i like the whole premise of rainbow six it's just it's really cool it's counter terrorist operators from all around the world right. right you know that could be that could actually be, yeah you know, i would watch that but I, I don't know if it'll be good but it'll still be cool to right. like check out okay so, for sure yeah. um yeah okay well i think that's pretty much uh, unless i guess that was the one thing that aiden had to recommend no that's so, it we're yeah, all good we're gonna yeah. wrap up again doris thank you so much for coming on the podcast um for our next episode um, I think me and Aiden are doing our first ever in person. Uh, I think we're doing our first ever in person episode. Yeah. Uh, probably. Uh, not guaranteed, I will say, but yeah, very we'll likely. have to see. Yeah. Um, and uh, for that episode, likely we're going to be doing Aiden. What did you recommend? Uh, well, I wanted to do Promising Young Woman, right? Yeah. So. so I've been telling Aiden he should, we should watch, or he should watch at least Promising Young Woman. Yeah. He said like, that's that the one I actually really want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need to yeah. see Minari, though. Like, okay, that one, yeah. That too. also is another yeah. requirement. Um, my recommendation is an, another, you know, there's a lot a lot of new, new movies came out this past Friday, including Those Who Wish Me Dead, of course. But um, there's another yeah. movie from director Joe Wright called The Woman in the Window. Um, it's not been doing very well in Rotten, but um, I'll be honest, it hasn't been doing too well with critics, and people don't love it. But I think it'll still be an interesting film, at least. And um, I really like the genre of, like, a mystery kind of thriller thing. And I like the cast a lot. Amy Adams, Brian Tyree Henry, Gary Oldman, Jennifer Jason Lee, Julianne Moore. Like, they're all very good actors. And jo- Joe Wright's still a solid director. So even if he missed here, um, I don't think he could have missed too badly. And I think it'll still be an entertaining enough film. Even though apparently it's a weird twist. Yeah. That's what I've heard. There's a twist in it, and it's maybe not that good. But... It will be interesting to talk about, at least, I think. So we'll do that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that's everything. Thank you again, Doris, for the third time for coming on. Um, yeah. Uh, as Thank you guys for watching. And um, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Adios. <laughs>